In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this poster step by step in Photoshop. So first of all, create a new document with 1084 width and 3054 height and press create and after that, you have to import statue image, you can drag and drop it or simply go to the file, place md, choose the image and place it right there. I'm gonna drag and drop it to my main document. We have to separate subject from the background. So before that, I have to make it smaller. Press Control Command T, holding Shift, and gonna decrease its size. It's fine. And after that, press Enter. Now go to the toolbar, and I'm going to choose Object Selection Tool make a selection just like this now i have to check the selection and if there is a problem i have to fix it i'm going to zoom in a little bit taking my lasso tool before that note that if you want to add some parts to the selection you have to press and hold shift and if you want to delete some parts of selection you have to press and hold alt and just like this click and draw and delete that part and after that, go to the layers panel and add a layer mask just like this. All right, let's create a background layer. Go to the layers panel, active this layer. I'm going to change it to statue. Okay, press and hold control or command and create a new layer, bomb of statue layer. Now change the background color to this one, pressing OK. And after that, make sure that it's still activated. Press and hold alt and backspace on your keyboard then from the menu bar choose layer new and background from layer go to the toolbar right click and choose rectangle tool do a single click i'm going with 330 for width and 474 height and after that press ok from the properties panel from the appearance part make sure that the field color is this color code okay for the stroke make sure that it has the same color as our background press ok 10 pixels for stroke and make sure to set it to outer after that adjust the size and position just like this all right we need another one get back to the layers panel again rectangle tool do a single click and this time i'm going with 319 and 288 for height and press ok it should be exactly the same as the previous one and after that i'm gonna put it right here for now from the layers panel active statue layer and drag and drop it right here and bring rectangle number one just right there the first one move your cursor between two layers press and hold alt and do a single click just like this now we have to adjust the position for rectangle number two now we should fill the missing parts like bottom and top part so go to the layers panel active stature layer press and hold ctrl command j drag and drop this layer between rectangle one and two we have to clip and mask it so press and hold alt move your cursor between two layers and do a single click just like this now let's care about the top part so get back to the layers panel again active statue layer press ctrl command j let's change its name to top make sure that it's still activated press and hold alt and add the layer mask just like this now after that take your brush make sure that the foreground color is white because we want to work on a black mask and simply brush this part just like this now it's time to add a nice shadow to our statue so go back to the layers panel active this one move your cursor on the empty space of layer double click to open layer style i'm gonna put it right here it's much better and simply add a drop shadow with the same settings just like this and press ok i'm gonna copy and paste the layer style so get back to the layers again press and hold alt move your cursor right here do a single click and drag and drop it just right here 
for the bottom parts. And as you see, we applied the layer side with a simple drag and drop. Go to the toolbar, right click and take rectangle tool from the option bar. Make sure that it's set to shape. And for the fill color, I'm going to use this color, pressing OK without any stroke. Do a single click. I'm going for 787 for width and 189 for height. And after that, press OK. Take your move tool and from the three dots option bar make sure that align to is set to canvas and align it to the center just like this and after that move it right here i'm going to zoom in a little bit okay it's fine press t on your keyboard which is type tool shortcut do a single click and write your text i already have it i'm gonna put it right here Make sure it's activated and again, I'm going to align it to the middle of the canvas, just like this. Active the rectangle layer, press and hold control command, right click and choose perspective. Move your cursor on this corner, do a single click and move it around maybe 20 degrees and after that press OK. Let's add some details, go to the toolbar, take rectangle tool. Do a single click and this time go for 40 to 40 for width and height. Press OK. Take move tool and I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to add a line and after that add an ellipse. So from the toolbar, this time I'm going to choose line tool from the option bar. Make sure that it's safe to shape with the same color just like this and without any stroke. I'm going to zoom in more and pressing shift drawing a line taking my move tool press ctrl command t and make it thinner going to zoom in more i think it's fine pressing ok let's fit it on the screen press and hold ctrl command zero let's add our ellipse tool go to the toolbar take ellipse tool do a single click 40 40 press ok Take your move tool and move it around here. I think I have to adjust the size and position of this lane. I think it's fine. I'm gonna move it right here. And after that, I have to align my shapes. So go to the layers panel, active ellipse one, press and hold shift and choose this one. All the three shapes, as you see, Make sure that you have your move tool activated from the option bar, three dots and set align to selection, align it to the center, just like this. And from the distribute spacing, make it perfect, just like this. Press control command zero, active the background layer. Let's add our flag. By the way, I'm gonna use this part of my previous thumbnails, which was about how to put a text behind the object and you can check this out later after this one. I'm going to show you the technique for the flag after you download and place it to the canvas. Make sure that it's activated. Press and hold Ctrl Command Shift U to make it black and white. Press Ctrl Command T, make it big, just like this. And I like to flip it horizontally, so right click and flip horizontal. And after that, just adjust the size and position and press enter. After you adjust the size and position from the layers panel, make sure that the flag layer is activated. Decrease the opacity to around 9 or 10%. 10% is fine. And after that, lock the layer just like this. I'm going to add the final shapes and text just like this and adjust the position after that you got the point guys how to create the line how to create the shape and how to adjust them easily after you don't get back to the layers panel active topmost layer press and hold ctrl command alt shift e and that's your final layer to export that's it if you enjoyed and learned something please do a favor thumbs up so more people like you can watch this tutorial and learn something new and if you're interested in poster designs i recommend you to watch these tutorials after this one thanks for watching and good luck